Gertrude's Children's Hospital was founded in 1947 through the donation of some land by Colonel Ewart Grogan in memory of his beloved wife, Gertrude Edith. Over 60 years later, the hospital has grown to become the largest hospital in East and Central Africa dedicated exclusively to the care of children. The hospital is a non-profit organization chartered with responsibilities for benefiting humanity, including the provision of health services, carrying out research, and imparting knowledge by teaching healthcare professionals. The hospital is run by a board of trustees on a voluntary basis. The hospital's board and management share the belief that hospitals can apply business acumen and enterprise in performing their responsibilities. The provision of quality care is at the heart of Gertrude's Hospital, and this is evident in the heavy investment on both infrastructure as well as personnel to ensure an atmosphere that is both favourable for patients and staff. The hospital runs inpatient and outpatient services, a well-equipped pharmacy, state-of-the-art laboratory, pediatric radiology, as well as equipped ICU and ambulance services. The hospital in addition operates another 21 specialty clinics including a well baby clinic, pediatric dentistry, pediatric HIV clinic, pediatric neurosurgery, pediatric ophthalmology, pediatric maxillofacial, among a host of others. Under pediatric general surgery, the hospital has two operating theatres, fully equipped to cover all types of emergency or scheduled operations. Gertrude's Children's Hospital also has the reputation of being a training institution, with the Gertrude's Professional Training Center located within the Muthaiga branch. Born out of a need to train pediatric nurses, the center has now grown, offering several locally relevant programs to health professionals. The center also gives first aid courses for parents, school teachers, and all others who handle children. The facility has a well-equipped library with internet availability and other services for students. The hospital has over the years, in partnership with various organizations, implemented a number of social support projects, especially in education and health. They include the Pediatric Endocrinology Fellowship Program. The field of endocrinology, covering the study of the functions and dysfunction of hormones, is best known through the disease diabetes, but also covers problems related to puberty, sexual development, bone metabolism, and diseases of bone formation. Gertrude treats endocrinology cases and also trains doctors from all over the East and Central African region, ensuring that this field of study will increase awareness and early detection. The eventual dream is to have an institute of child health and research offering much needed skills in pediatric health care for the region. Parents, uh, relatives, society in general, even health workers need to know that if they find anything unusual in children uh, in their development, they should not just sit back and say that this uh, is just an act of nature and that nothing can be done about it. If uh, you are not able to diagnose the problem uh, in your locality, in your local health facility. Please get in touch, yeah, and we'll see, chances are we'll unravel what the problem is and we can be able to offer a solution. So don't hide the children at home, send them to us. Two modern cafeterias are located within the hospital premises and provide an oasis for all who visit the hospital. In the events that one needs admission, 
The hospital's 84-bed capacity provides a variety of well-planned rooms, including private, standard and general wards, with all necessary amenities that both parent and patient might require. A well-established child development centre is also located within the premises and offers paediatric rehabilitation, physiotherapy treatment and occupational therapy treatment. One of the unique departments found within the hospital is the Travel Vaccine Centre. This centre provides relevant information as well as vaccinations for all who wish to travel abroad or those living within the country and would like to gain awareness on all essential vaccination information. As part of Gertrude's Children's Hospital Expansion Plan, the hospital recently embarked on the opening of several clinics in various parts of the city of Nairobi and throughout the country. These satellites are Lavington, Donholm, Nairobi West, Pangani, Embakasi, Komorok, Kitengela and Ongatorongai, all of which provide the same and consistent care found under the Gertrude standard of quality. Gertrude's has also registered the Gertrude's Hospital Foundation. The objectives of this foundation will include purchase of medical equipment, the construction of buildings, provision of financial assistance to needy sick children, support for scientific research, and development of community projects to promote health and well-being. The hospital is involved in numerous CSR activities throughout the year. This includes the Smile Train for Children with cleft lips and palates and Operation Eardrop, which reaches out to those with impaired hearing. But of special mention is the Gidogoro Outreach Clinic. The Gidogoro Clinic, based within the Gidogoro slums, was identified after several immunization campaigns carried out by the hospital brought to realization the need for more consistent care to be given to the needy community. This initiative has grown from a twice a week service provision in a shack to a daily clinic in a permanent stone building. Gertrude's service to community does not stop there, as the hospital staff frequently volunteer as first aid workers during major events, such as the annual Nairobi Marathon. Even more impressive is the availability of a free courtesy bus service that runs on scheduled times from Gertrude's to the city and vice versa. Gertrude's Children's Hospital commitment to pediatric health is nowhere better exemplified than with its partnerships with international and local organizations with a common aim of helping children whose parents cannot afford the care required. This stretches forth in offering free and highly subsidized services in areas such as comprehensive care in pediatric HIV and AIDS. The hospital is a member of the Regional AIDS Training Network, which allows the added training in HIV AIDS, psychosocial child and parental care. Membership of this organization allows an opportunity for access to various training grants. Gertrude's believes in a family-based approach, recognizing that the child comes from a family and unless you support that structure, then you would not be able to get the best result. Therefore, nutrition packages, family fun days and adolescence retreats are but part of the activities that the hospital engages in. Construction is already underway for the new wing, which will have additional outpatient, surgical ward, modern radiology services and expanded ICU and HDU units. With numerous awards under its belt, including the prestigious ISO system certification, 
Gertrude's Children's Hospital aims to be the preferred healthcare provider for East and Central Africa's children. The hospital is devoted to the care of children as the fundamental concern while providing a favorable environment for both patients and members of staff. Gertrude's Children's Hospital, quality healthcare for children.